talk about bondage on a previous show. Okay, so my partner ties me up, then what? I'm a little scared of not knowing. That's the f best part, is not knowing. Especially if you're blindfolded. It's the best part. I kind of like the not knowing. <laughs> it's the best part! <laughs> That's the point. Is, is, being tied is, up? Yeah. Of the other person being able to do whatever, whatever they, they want. want. <laughs> it depends on his imagination. Otherwise, it's not really much of anything. It's just going to be thrusting. That's the point. You're not supposed to know. The not knowing is the fun part. That's all part of the thrill, is being scared of not knowing. That's the whole ambiance of the whole tying up situation, is the excitement of not knowing. Like, you should always have, like, a way to get out of it if you're uncomfortable, but that's the point, is to make it new and exciting. Don't be afraid. Just make sure if you have a safe word, you don't have a ball gag in your mouth. It doesn't really work. <laughs> Do somebody you trust. The best part is not knowing. It's like that trust exercise that people do, like team building, where you fall down and somebody catches you. It's kind of like that, but they don't do it at work, or else they probably have a lot better um, retention of employees. Don't do it with a stranger. <laughs> well, duh. If he's really cool, he can suspend you above things, which is kind of creepy to me, but. Some people like that stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You should try it. Maybe spankings, whips and chains. Don't, don't be afraid. In our day-to-day -day life, we are so in control and we have to make all the decisions and it's kind of fun letting somebody else do that for us. I think I'm going to mention that to my employer. That would be a lot of fun. We should do the team building um, where we tie each other up. We talk in rope or leather or chains. And perform sexual acts. Restriction of blood flow. Well, blindfolded. Some choking. Yeah, let's incorporate that. It's a good perk. But if it's a guy that has some experience with bondage, then whoo, all hats off to him. He's gonna be all up in your butt. I mean, not in your butt. Uh. <laughs> You're gonna have orgasms like you've never had before. It's so worth it. Trust me. Hopefully, you have someone who knows what they're doing and. They'll handle you very nicely, yeah. and they trust, and you trust. Yes, trust is a big thing. So I think you need to maybe just give yourself a little more to the situation and hope that, you know, you don't end up in the trunk of the car. <laughs> what would your safe word be? You have to have a safe word. Oh, that's right, a safe word. <laughs> Pick a safe word, like pumpkin pie, or something that you could just scream out if things get uncomfortable. And no safe word that so sounds like, you know, give me more, because that doesn't work. It'd be like waffle or peanuts. And don't make the safe word more. Stop, it's not a safe word. Or stop. No is not a safe word. <laughs> Harder is not a good safe word. Bondage means you say no, but that means yes. What's my safe word? Oh, I'm, I'll keep that private. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Don't say no, unless you mean yes. I think you're, you are a woman, right? So you're probably saying no and meaning yes anyway. You know what mine is? Orangutan. Orangutan. When I say Wait. orangutan, that oh means cool head. Why is it always some like, really? What's We're going to zoo animals? Zebra. <laughs> zebra. <laughs> We're just you do orangutan, like, like I do this. zebra. I'm taking black We're and like white, this. you know, it's a fashion thing. <sighs> yeah. Enjoy.